Welcome to Wendy's Kitchen Wonders, where the magic of baking comes to life. We're all about transforming simple, everyday ingredients into extraordinary culinary creations right in the comfort of your own kitchen. Today, we're going to delve into a classic recipe with a delightful twist. The perfect banana bread cake with a heavenly cream cheese frosting. If you're excited to learn how to make this treat, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your fellow baking enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more delicious recipes. Remember, the joy of baking is in the journey, so let's embark on this sweet adventure together. Ever wondered how to make the perfect banana bread cake with cream cheese frosting? The allure of this treat isn't just in its mouth-watering taste, but also in its rich history. Originating from the resourcefulness of thrifty housewives in the 1930s who didn't want to waste overripe bananas, banana bread has since evolved into a delicious, versatile cake. Our banana bread cake is a delightful twist on this classic with the addition of a scrumptious cream cheese frosting. The ingredients for the banana bread cake include a half cup of softened butter, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, two large eggs, a full cup of sour cream, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a cup of mashed bananas, which is about three bananas. For the cream cheese frosting, we'll need a half cup of softened butter, eight ounces of full fat cream cheese, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, three cups of powdered sugar, and two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Stay tuned to discover the step-by-step -step guide to making this delicious treat. First, gather all your ingredients. For a moist and flavorful banana bread cake, you'll need half a cup of butter or one stick softened. Add to that one and a half cups of granulated sugar and two large eggs. To give our cake a rich creamy texture, we'll use one cup of full fat sour cream. Trust me, it makes all the difference. Don't forget a teaspoon of vanilla extract to add that hint of sweetness. For our dry ingredients, gather two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And of course, our star ingredient, one cup of mashed bananas, which is about three bananas. The riper the bananas, the sweeter your cake will be. For our delectably smooth cream cheese frosting, you'll need another half cup of butter or one stick softened and eight ounces of full fat cream cheese. Add a teaspoon of vanilla extract, three cups of powdered sugar, and two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. With all ingredients ready, we're set to start baking. Now it's time to whip up our banana bread cake. Let's dive right into the process. Begin by taking a half cup of softened butter, or one stick if you prefer, and cream it together with one and a half cups of granulated sugar. This is the foundation of our cake, giving it a sweet, rich base to build upon. Use your mixer to blend these two together until they're well combined and have a fluffy consistency. Next, we're going to add in our eggs. Crack open two large eggs and drop them into the mix. These will act as a binding agent holding all of our ingredients together and adding a bit of moisture to our cake. Mix these in until they're fully incorporated. Now it's time for the sour cream. Add in one full cup of full fat sour cream. This might seem like an unusual ingredient for a cake, but trust me, it's going to make our banana bread super moist and give it a delicious tang. Blend this in with your mixer until it's well combined with the rest of the ingredients. Next up is the vanilla extract. Pour in one teaspoon for that classic sweet aroma and flavor that's a staple in most baked goods. Mix that in until it's well combined with the other ingredients. Now, we're ready for our dry ingredients. Add in two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. These will give our cake structure and a nice light crumb. Mix these in until they're just combined. You don't want to overmix here or your cake could end up dense. 
Finally, it's time for the star of the show, the bananas. Mash up about three bananas until you have one cup of mashed bananas and fold them into your batter. This is what gives our cake that delicious banana flavor and a moist, tender crumb. Once your batter is smooth, it's ready for the oven. While our cake bakes, let's prepare the cream cheese frosting. This frosting is a delightful blend of cream cheese, butter, a hint of vanilla, powdered sugar, and a dash of heavy whipping cream. Start by taking a half cup or one stick of softened butter and combining it with eight ounces of full fat cream cheese. Blend them together until you achieve a silky, smooth texture. This is your base. Next, infuse your base with a teaspoon of vanilla extract. The vanilla is subtle, but it adds an essential depth of flavor that complements the tangy cream cheese and butter blend. Now, it's time for the sweetness. Gradually incorporate three cups of powdered sugar. Add it bit by bit to avoid a sugar storm in your kitchen. Lastly, add two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. This final touch gives the frosting a lush, spreadable consistency. Your frosting should be creamy and ready to spread once the cake cools. Our banana bread cake is baked and cooled and our cream cheese frosting is ready. Now we're at the fun part, the assembly. This is where our banana bread cake and cream cheese frosting become one delicious masterpiece. Grab your cake stand or plate and place the first layer of your banana bread cake in the center. Take a generous dollop of the cream cheese frosting and spread it evenly over the top. Don't worry about getting it perfect. The rustic look adds charm. Once the first layer is frosted, stack the second layer of cake on top. Repeat the frosting process, spreading another generous layer of cream cheese frosting. This time, make sure to spread the frosting over the sides as well, covering the entire cake. You can use a spatula or a butter knife to get a smooth finish. Now, for a little flair. If you have some leftover frosting, you can fill a piping bag and create lovely rosettes or dollops around the top edge. This will add a touch of elegance to your cake. But remember, this is optional. Your cake will still taste divine without this extra garnish. Let's talk about serving banana bread cake with cream cheese. Frosting is great any time of the day. It can be a decadent breakfast treat, a sweet snack with afternoon tea, or a delightful dessert after dinner. If you're serving this at a gathering, consider cutting the cake into small squares or triangles for easy serving. Now, here's a little secret. This cake tastes even better the next day. The flavors meld together beautifully, making each bite a little piece of heaven. So if you can resist the temptation, let the cake sit overnight before serving. And there you have it, a perfect banana bread cake with cream cheese frosting. Try it yourself and enjoy the deliciousness.